right guys, Panic here, otherwise known as Panic Picnic, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Stukov. Um, there's not a whole lot of guides on really how to play them, there's just a bunch of people playing them, but I'm going to go ahead and do a, pretty much a little bit of a walkthrough on how I like to play them. Um, he's actually pretty hard, um, but once you get pretty much get the ideas and exactly what his units are good for, uh, you pretty much find out that he's actually not that bad. He's actually really, really, really good. And as you can also see, I'm almost level 15, so you expect to see a mastery guide on him quite shortly. <laughs> I uh, just gotta play a few games with them more, and we're pretty much at level 15, which is gonna be awesome. Um, outside of that, the oh, we're gonna hop right into it. All right, we're doing void thrashing. I'm, like I said, I'm level 14 Stukov, and we were playing with Swan, level 47, named Lakila Vrisky. Very Russian, Vrisky, Vrisky, Lakia, Lakila Vrisky. Something around that line. Uh, he is playing a swan, and I hope he... I'm gonna hope for the best on this one. And now we wait for the long-awaited load times. Load times suck. Load times suck. We're almost there. It'll load. It'll load. Still loading. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, there we go. We're in. I just hope he didn't leave. Hope he didn't leave. It's a problem. We need more minerals. All right, as you know, a, always check. Always check to see if they're hey, there. That's always the key thing you should do you. first. My base is getting slammed. I'm too busy fighting fires in here to handle them myself. You gotta destroy those thrashers before they destroy this fortress. We need more minerals. Alright, the first thing I like to do is I like to build two SCVs, and then after that SCV is done, I'm gonna go ahead and build my Overlord. It's a pretty much, I think it's a basic Zerg time, but it's pretty much about how you're gonna do it. Uh, once I get about 150 minerals, you see I'm a little bit of a supply cap. Uh, his buildings take a while of time to build, so like his barracks takes about 60 seconds, so I'm gonna let it, uh, so I'm gonna let it go ahead and do that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move my infested colonist compound. I'm going to move it as close as I can to my secondary base. And I'm going to go ahead and place my Psy emitter on the rocks. Because the first wave that's going to spawn from here, while it's not a whole lot, it's only eight of them, um, that eight is enough to actually destroy the rocks and one of these. And one of the gas geyser rocks. So, I mean, it's pretty good on that regard. At about 20, at about 19 to 20, I'm gonna go ahead and deploy an Overlord. And the reason why is I want that, I want as much population supply uh, eventually. So I want to basically be, I want as much as possible. Oh no! And the reason why is if once if you do it at 19, see I did it a little bit later. So I'll go ahead and uh, since I missed the timing, I'm gonna go ahead and evolve my infestation pit. The reason why you want it to uh, pop as soon as possible is so you can usually pop down one of Starting these, these infested bunkers. Free Vespine. <sighs> Gotta love Let's that, go ahead right? And pop yeah. that there. Okay, so I'm level 14, and infested bunkers, like the infested bunker strat, is actually, in my opinion, not very good when you're trying to level them up. Is the main not reason I have to minerals. say to that is because uh, you only get four per bunker, which is pretty bad. <laughs> So it kind of blows in that end. This one, however, has six, which is pretty good. I'm going to leave my uh, SCV here to pretty much uh, help tank some damage. Things will spawn shortly. I'm going to go ahead and send one guy into gas. Build another overlord. Throw him on out. I'll keep this guy here just in case. And if, uh, if I need reinforcements, I've got my Psyometer right here. Who oh, no. knows? Go kill Ross. Alright, I might lose this one right here, and I don't want to pop this just yet, so I'll go ahead and send out some Infested Terran. Then I'll go ahead and send them down there. I haven't sent them down there, because they are, they are on time block. Might as well at least do a little bit of damage. It won't do too much, but, I mean, something's better than nothing. I mean, I'm, I'm floating Here's resources, so I'm going to go ahead objective is to kill it and fast. Let's go ahead and fill up this I thing with gas. 
We want to get these two gases at a pretty decent timing, but we don't have to worry about it too much. Alright. Um, Stukov is actually not a huge gas guzzler, though. So we actually don't really need to go ahead and grab that secondary gas. Like, if uh, if you want to go for more gas build, which is like factory and starport, like you can, but I you don't entirely need it. I'm gonna go ahead and summon my apocalypse here, only because it gives me time. It's a little bit loud on that one. Uh, that way I can go ahead and spend a little bit more time on this. I'm gonna go ahead and build an also an extra SCV, and the only reason why I have him is he's gonna be my little guide on just building. I just building stuff. I'll move the bunker up a little bit, but it is mainly just a defensive structure. Alright, so I'm going up against Zerg, so that's actually pretty good. And bad at the exact same time. Let's send him up here real quick. There's much damage. Enemies approaching fast. Man, they look mad. Alright, you want to try to get them to do as much overall damage as possible. Control 5 view. Go and spot them all down there. And this one should be upgraded More. shortly. Evolution complete. Let's get two the of these Jose's and we'll go put them there. Attack. And we'll make you build another one of these. Upgrade weapons. We oh no! I lost my bunker! Run! 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 Ah, we outnumber you now. All right, we almost got my third base up, and we almost got my second base up and running. But most importantly, we have the primary base all the way up and running. That's the big thing. We want to try to get as much minerals as possible. Like I said before, he kind of plays like Nova to an extent, in that. Um, Ga gas is not, um, well, it's, an imp it's important to an extent, but ooh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and drop down my factory because this is gonna this is gonna require an armoring, so we want to try to at least get this one down at least a little bit. I'm not really gonna level up armor too much, um, so I will be floating a little bit of gas. Like I said, the main thing I'm going to want, yeah, let's build. I mean, we'll go ahead and get six of those just in case. I'll go ahead and upgrade Broodling Gestation because it's going to be a minute till I get that attack, that upgrade. Oh, come on, upgrade faster. Go ahead. Gotcha. The enemy has taken an interest in our base. And we're with the we want a magic number of about five raxes. Lock and load. It's time to clear out some thrashers. <laughs> You're like, panic. Why do you want a number of five? Evolution completed. Ah, uh, fuck it. There you go. The Alexander flies again. We'll go ahead and summon this down. We want to try to get rid of these as fast as possible. But we're mainly going to drop that there. And we're going to go ahead and send as much as of our army as possible. Since we've already capped it out, we'll go ahead and drop more, um, what's it called? <laughs> we'll drop more, um, overlords because we're going to need this, we're going to need the supply. We share your structure for a time, yes? Our forces An have is enemies ready for spawn. Not enough minerals. Our allies are in combat. Boy Thrashers are starting to burn a hole through the fortress's ceiling! Shit! So, you know, that seems Shit. bad. <laughs> this is not good. There you go, have a fun- oh, no. Come here. This will do some damage, God. Come on, kill things! Not enough minerals. This Our is not, this is not looking hot, I'll tell you that much. Level up faster! Oh, also, if you do have, like, a Protoss teammate, like, make sure to tell them to chrono boost this building at all times. That's all you really need to do, and you'll instantly win. Look at that Ultras! It's just shitting on things! 
All right, we already know what the where the next spawn's gonna be, so we're gonna go ahead and at least rally Revolution them over there. Completed. All right, my raxes are door. done. Let's get rid of um, the and this is the coolest part Enemy about him. Forces are moving towards our base. Evolution. The Hive Cluster is under attack. That fight cost me quite a few forces. Alright, we're gonna... RUN! Oh shit, this is not good. This is not good. Oh god, that. Fuck, I got a lurker. Alright, here's the downside. Is Here's another downside you really need to know about. Is Stukov blows at detection. We're gonna go ahead and move all of these units over. Our forces have met the enemy in combat. Our forces Our are allies are in combat. Build some turrets. Bro, where's your science vessels? Here come the thrashers, commanders. Let's light them up. Except we I got a little bit extra time. The high Our forces have met attack. the enemy in combat. Please stop. Serious heat here. Boy thrashers ain't letting up. These lurkers are annoying. We'll go ahead and invest our allies buildings. Our forces are under attack. We need more minerals. We need more minerals. Rats. Oh shit, we're sending everything we have at this point. Alright, we got some overlords. Do me a favor. Torch that thing so Bro, I can you, you know you know your economy's hey, bad when uh, you, 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 you can't afford uh, uh, overseers. <laughs> you can't afford detection. Anyone who gets close. All right, come on up. Let's go, Forces buddies. If anyone wants to go and kill a boy thrasher, I'd be much obliged. Enemies coming for our base. Thought you might want to know. Alright, we're losing a bit more than what we should be doing, but we need to get rid of these Void Thrashers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the final upgrade to level 3. Void Thrasher defeated. Attack. So let's go ahead and move these guys out. Alright. See if this one has got any upgrades. Yep, it's got just that one. Oh shit. Boy, Thrasher, slaughtered. Oh no. I mean, look at that. 31, 32. Ah, more rips. Thrashers can't be far behind. Get ready to torch them, would you? Looks like oh. that Archangel is making a break for it. Talk about I a nuisance. Itself, I should have dropped the Alexander there, but I figured it. Uh, I figured it wouldn't have uh, really mattered, but apparently it did. Yeah, I'm gonna need population in a minute. Yes, gotcha. Many of my infested have fallen. Evolution complete. Really, you can only support about five Raxes. Um, and five, the reason why is because five can produce about a hundred, so it shouldn't take too much time, so it shouldn't take long to actually get. And I don't want something Alexander just yet. I'll give him. We will produce a decent amount of uh, units, though. Look at that. Boom. So we're going to set our side meter directly in the center of their base. Um, my units, while made of current paper right now, they do a shitload of damage. The reason why I'm not really upgrading their armor is the armor really won't be that really won't be that much of a problem the looks like it could be annoying all right oh this saying hey, this is this is like the beyond the like not good right here Double the power! 
but as you can see, most of my units right here, like, I built these turrets, they don't do much, but it's mainly just for detection. See, look, I'll go ahead and swarm that. Our forces are under attack. Oh, sh I mean, I've already lost the base. Void thrashers ain't letting up. You don't want to lose this building. Run, building! This is not a very good hell guide! Command. Drop the Alexander. Uh, the Alexander. I am glad you're out. Last thrasher! Make that oh, one pay! Bug it up. <laughs> Outside of that, this is kind of like, this is in general what you want to do. Hell yeah, we made it! Tell you what, next time y'all are in town, I'm buying the first round. And that's a promise. Boo! But you, um, when you get to play as Alexander, you get to do something that most commanders don't really get to do. Um, and you get actually get to play a little game. And you're like, what, what, what's the game, Panic? Well, the game is you get to guess how many of units you actually produce. And it's actually pretty cool. I think I maybe only did about 2,000 in that game. Oh, only about 1,500. That was a little, little bit of an overestimation. But, I mean, dang. I mean, I did a 501, so I did a lot. I did a lot of that. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Um... Also, that's kind of like how you play. That's kind of how you play Sukov. <coughs> I mean, I made a few mistakes, of course, but the biggest thing to know is, like, especially when you're leveling them up, uh, Diamondbacks. I mean, siege tanks don't really do much. I mean, they're kind of they're kind of garbage. I mean, it's they're just r really just made of paper, and they don't um you can't. They're just not good enough in their current state. Like by comparison to like Rainer's siege tank, or even Swan siege tanks, or uh, of course Nova's siege tanks. They just he just can't compare them as well. Um, his Diamondbacks are okay, but it's more for, like, this is really going to be your AoE is going to be from your Diamondbacks. And the reason why is because the Diamondbacks, once you at a certain level, get an upgrade that, um, oh yeah, here it is. To leave behind a trail of slime while moving that deals damage and slows enemy ground units. I mean, that's pretty much the only thing, but it's really kind of a gimmick from the Diamondback side. Um, the Banshees are actually one of the best, better units. Um, I mean, his air is okay. I mean, his Banshees are actually pretty decent. The reason why is they pretty much start with, you don't need to research Cloak, and they can research, uh, you can get Burrow and stuff, so, and then you can also get 100 extra life on them, which is pretty good. Um, they don't get that, um, uh, attack like Rainer does, which kind of does suck, but, I mean, hey, like Banshees that are almost impossible to kill, it's really good. Um, outside of that, the best air unit that he really has is the Infested Liberator. It's, uh, attacks that deal area damage to enemy air units. It can not transform, but, um, its air attack is actually freaking ridiculous. It has its normal basic liberator attack, which I think is about a, it's about 10. And then it has an ability where you can double its attack. So it's going to go to about 20, and they attack super fast. So you go... Do -do 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 -do. So it, it does a constant stream. It does, it does a shitload of damage. But the downside of it is I really wouldn't run the liberators because at the beginning uh, until you at least have more... Until you get the later upgrades. And from the starport, like... Uh, reduces damage ta taken by infested liberators while they're attacking. Is when you use the liberators, they're really, um, they're really almost made of wet paper. And what I mean by that, I'm talking about wet, soggy paper that has been left in a pool. Like I'm talking about the bottom of a deep ocean. So you just look at it funny, and it falls apart. That's really what his liberators are made of. But imagine throwing that, but a lot of rocks in it. That's kind of what they do. They do a lot of damage, but they're made of absolute trash. But um, if you're going to go for the Liberator one, I would definitely do that. He's not a really big Gas Guzzler, and the reason why he's not a Gas Guzzler is because I really wouldn't recommend anything from the Factory or even the Starpoint, to be honest. Like, his, um, uh, his, you will, why not use infe his Infested Queen? I mean, they can use Ocular Symbiote, which is really cool because you can use the Symbiote and you can see invisible units. Or you can spawn broodlings, which is pretty cool, which you need a starport for. But you need a starport as well as a tech lab to spawn the infested queens. And I think if you're just doing it for vision, it's not very good. And the reason why is because if you have a starport, you can build overseers, which are way better. And just in terms of that, like, it's just way better. I mean, you could do spawn broodlings, which is an insta-kill to a lot of things. But I think with your with a basic just constantly spam of his infested civilians and infested marines that Stukov really doesn't need anything like his infested civilians from the infested compound can pretty much take out anything in the game um on the ground especially when you spawn 64 of them and then when you get the broodling upgrade then you have like i mean that's 64 again <laughs> so basically once that 64 die you still have the 64 but it's just broodlings and the broodlings even take uh, get the attack damage upgrade they don't get the armor upgrade which kind of sucks that's the reason I don't really upgrade armor. Um, and then for his infested marines, like his infested marines are pretty trash. Like at the beginning, like 
they're not very good. Um, it says if, if you start off at level one, it's just not very good. But the big thing is, is they get a huge, huge, ungodly large upgrade at level seven. Like, I mean, level two and level seven are really going to be your huge power spikes. Um, actually, uh, Oh, not, no. Level 2, level 6, and level 7 are going to be the biggest power spikes you really have. Of course, level 8 and 10 are obviously going to be your, the good ones because you get your other two abilities. Um, but speaking of Marines, the reason why it's like level 6 and level 7 are really going to be your best abilities is because spawn infested Marines now can store 10 additional charges and infested Marines now spawn 100% faster. Your infested Marines spawn really ungodly slow unless, uh, until you have this ability. Like, they spawn really damn slow. So it's... It's almost worthless, like, he literally struggles up until almost level 6, until, and up until this point I would just say spam bunkers. And for level 7, um, once you get, th this is the best upgrade for them. Um, unless you have upgraded an infested colonist compound that spawn broodlings when infested uh, civilians die, I mean that's the one I talked about earlier, but it's this upgrade in particular that makes Stukov probably one of the best commanders in the game. And it's unlocks an upgrade at the infested Barrett Techs that enables infested marines and infested troopers to deal additional damage over time to units they attack. Now, w the strategy I use, like that I just did, is spawning the immense amount of infested civilians, which pretty much take out every bit of ground troops. I mean, if not, I mean, whoop-de-doo. Then you have to deal with my infested marine army, which I have about five barracks. So I'm literally spawning a hundred of these things at a time. I mean, of course, when you do a little bit early, like their time, the only downside to them is their, their time, which kind of sucks, but they start off with like, like eight attack, I think. So then you go eight, nine, ten, eleven. So then they're, they're doing eleven damage each. I mean, they're doing eleven damage just by pure upgrades, and it doesn't matter if you upgrade the armor because, I mean, it only nullifies just basic damage. Makes the few little bits you have are gonna stay alive. But even if you, they stay alive, the armor upgrade's almost gonna be null and void for just on the aspect of like <laughs> their time is just really gonna die uh, by the time like they're their time is like it's a lifetime so once that time is up they die the armor really benefits the uh, infested civilians more than anything because they can allow it like because uh, they're only against the ground units but it just allows them to stay alive a lot longer and then this is really where the biggest swarm aspect comes through <laughs> outside of that i really think uh sukov is a super fun commander if you don't play um if you don't have him i would totally recommend you for him uh he's like a whole like he almost tricks the entire everything like he flips everything of what you know about Terran, about what you know on zerg completely on his head um I mean, he's really good, like I said. I think if you're going to play him, you need to at least roleplay on the a little bit. What I mean by that is just spam, like, get about five or six barracks just so you can get the charge. Get two get uh, two command centers full of just nothing but minerals. Upgrade, upgrade for, um, get every upgrade in the engineering bay. Uh, drop a side emitter somewhere. And uh, basically watch your army of probably about 300 and just watch them die. Watch everyone, just watch everyone die. Uh, outside of that, my name is Panic Picnic. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video if you like it. Also, the, also the, make sure to join the picnic table. And if you do not know how to join the picnic table, all you have to do is hit that big old shiny subscribe button. And you know what? If you really like my content, make sure to hit that notification bar so you can literally watch every video I want and I can waste as much time as possible. Outside of that, my name is Panic Picnic. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!